Hi class. Welcome to the second part of our lesson on fractions. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to arrange fractions in ascending or descending order. Now let's begin. In our previous lesson, we learned about the types of fractions, equivalent fractions, and the application of equivalent fractions in everyday life. Now, fractions like whole numbers can be arranged in ascending or descending order. However, unlike whole numbers, ordering fractions can be a bit tricky. Do you remember the meaning of ascending and descending order? Great! Ascending means from the lowest to the highest, while descending means from the highest to the lowest. Now let's get started with this example. Arrange 2 over 3, 1 over 6 and 3 over 5 in ascending order. First, we need to find the LCM of the denominators of the fractions in question. That is 3, 6 and 5. Using our previous knowledge on finding LCM, we know that the LCM of 3, 6 and 5 is 30. Do you have trouble calculating LCM? If yes, then kindly check the lesson on LCM to refresh your memory. Next, we divide the LCM by the denominator of each fraction. Then multiply the result by the numerator of the respective fraction. So let's start with the first fraction, 2 over 3. We divide the LCM 30 by the denominator 3 and multiply the answer by the numerator 2. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 10 times 2 equals 20. Therefore, 2 over 3 is equivalent to 20 over 30. Now the next fraction is 1 over 6. We divide the LCM 30 by the denominator 6 and multiply the answer by the numerator 1. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Therefore, 1 over 6 is equivalent to 5 over 30. The final fraction on the list is 3 over 5. We divide the LCM 30 by the denominator 5 and multiply the answer by the numerator 3. 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Therefore, 3 over 5 is equivalent to 18 over 30. Now, our fractions are 20 over 30, 5 over 30, and 18 over 30. 20 over 30 means 20 parts of 30. 5 over 30 means 5 parts of 30. 18 over 30 means 18 parts of 30. Don't forget that 20 over 30 is equivalent to 2 over 3. 5 over 30 is equivalent to 1 over 6. And 18 over 30 is equivalent to 3 over 5. Looking at the equivalent fractions, we can see that 1 over 6 is less than 3 over 5. And 3 over 5 is less than 2 over 3. Therefore, in ascending order, we have 1 over 6, followed by 3 over 5, and then 2 over 3. Now there you have it. Good job everyone. Now let's try a second approach to arrange fractions using this example. Arrange 3 over 5 and 2 over 3 
in descending order. First, we need to find the LCM of the denominators. The LCM of 5 and 3 is 15, right? Next, convert the fractions to equivalent fractions. We can do that by simply finding a number which multiplies the denominator to give the value of the given LCM. For example, for 3 over 5, what number can we multiply by 5 to give the value of the LCM 15? That's right, 3. So we multiply both numerator and denominator of the fraction by 3. 3 times 3 all over 5 times 3. This is equal to 9 over 15. Moving on to the next fraction, 2 over 3. We have already established that the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Now, for 2 over 3, what number can we multiply by 3 to give the value of the LCM 15? That's right, 5. So we multiply both numerator and denominator of the fraction by 5. 2 times 5 all over 3 times 5. And this is equal to 10 over 15. From this, we can see that 2 over 3 is equivalent to 10 over 15, while 3 over 5 is equivalent to 9 over 15. From here looking at the equivalent fractions, we can see that 2 over 3 is greater than 3 over 5. So arranging in descending order, we have 2 over 3, then 3 over 5, which means 2 over 3 is greater than 3 over 5. Now this brings us to the end of the second lesson on fractions. In this lesson, you learned how to arrange fractions in ascending and descending order using two methods. Which do you prefer? See you all in the next lesson where you will learn more on fractions.